Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 17. Thoughts? This episode is called Melinda. So, the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the Psych After Strikers, and I'm going to do so. And then there's some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive into the episode. So, yeah, we start the episode, and, and every so often go back to seven years ago, where we see Melinda smiling, which right away tells us that this is going to show us why she stopped. You know, she's smiling, she's chatty, she's in the field, she's not being called the cavalry yet. All of those things are going to change. And, yeah, Coulson is talking about, you know, Fury is planning to, to gather the Avengers together, which I guess... Yeah, yeah, because that started, let's see, I forget what the exact timeline is supposed to, because I think Avengers is supposed to be set in 2012, and I guess that means, I don't think there's supposed to be a full four years between Iron Man 1 and the Avengers in the timeline. But yeah, so this is this is after he met Tony, I'm guessing, or when he started looking for. Her. Yeah, and let's see. Yeah, um, Sky blames herself, where Jaying points out, you know, you were just defending yourself, and. She causes an avalanche, which, not the very best visual effect, but, I mean, what are they going to do, actually cause an avalanche? As cool as that would be, no, of course it's going to be a visual effect. And, let's see. Yeah, and the the Lincoln says, in all the time he's been there, he's never seen Jaying train someone before. So yeah, again, Sky is special, and their relationship is special. And I appreciate the you know we have the lion monster, and then it cuts to Reina, who of course feels like a monster. And I like, <laughs> apparently Lincoln does have a nickname, but it's not, you mean no one told you, it's Spark Plug, which is legitimately funny. Let's see. It seems impossible. That tie is impossible. This actually happened. And, yeah, you know, Reyna explains... You know, she's having these nightmares where she's being hunted like an animal. But you are an animal. I mean, this would be a gross injustice if you weren't. I'm kidding. It's a Jimmy Carr reference. Seriously, though, I really do appreciate the, the pathos of Reyna's character. It's a, it's a natural place for it to go from where she started out, but I absolutely did not see it coming. And let's see the um, yeah I I quite like the the scene of you know Sky and Jaying you know yeah as she said the you know this afternoon will be much harder because before she could just let go and do the most do the biggest thing that she could because she can't hurt the mountain. And she can't hurt Jai Ying because Jai Ying heals. But, you know, using it on such a small, delicate scale. You know, I'll start the note, you hold the note. Which, very nicely done. I Did they use fans? Or... Yeah, anyway, it's really, really nicely done. And, 
yeah, she does end up losing control of it and shattering the glasses. And Zhou Ying is like, it's fine, you know, we'll just drink out of wooden cups tonight. What's wrong? And then Sky has to confess, I already broke the wooden cups. We're going to be drinking out of our hands tonight. But, uh, yeah, you know, she's basically waiting for the other shoe to drop. And Zhou Ying reveals to, to Sky that you know they are related and you know sky is like it's you you're my mommy it's you but but yeah again really great scene and i appreciate that you know yeah it's it's again this thing of you know they could easily make it just this like fairy tale happy ending thing but no there's this thing of you know we have to keep this hidden because if people think i'm show, showing favoritism you know, it's gonna be the cavalry all over again. It could be very dangerous. And let's see. Yeah, good scene between Simmons and May. And yeah, the moment that they get a little bit of leeway, they start going against the other shield. And, yeah, neither of them know yet what Theta Protocol is, but they see that Coulson is hiding something. And Coulson tries to get the, the Bahraini forces to slow down a little to buy May some time by saying it's a biological weapon, figuring out that always works, and it does indeed seem to work. And I, I quite like that uh, um, May calls the, uh, what's, ah, uh, crap, what's his name? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, um, you know, the husband t on how to talk to this, you know, hostage, this little girl. And also great misdirect. I really was thinking like, oh, it's somehow, some ways, he's got to, save this little girl, and then we find out, no, she's the one who's, you know, doing all this evil, yeah, very unexpected. And, yeah, May gets past a couple, you know, she, she snaps one guy's neck, one guy is about to fall down the stairs, but she grabs him just in time, which either means that she's worried it's going to, you know, make too much noise and attract attention, or they don't have it in the budget to, you know, have a proper stunt of him falling down the, the stairs. And um, I think it's the former. And yeah, she, you know, she catches up with the, the shield, you know, the cavalry leader, I think it is. And, you know, he says, it's dangerous out take this and then tries to hit her and yeah they the all of the shield agents say uh, you know need I need your pain you know and we we realize that's what happened you know they got in there and the the you know if, yeah at first we think it was Ava but it turns out uh, hold on no, wait, yeah, Ava was the, the daughter. Was, any, anyway, yeah, we thought it was Beliakov, the, the mother, but it turned out to be the, the daughter, uh, you know, yeah, running around, taking control of them. And, yeah, you know, they wonder why would Coulson, you know, why, what does he need with 100 bunk beds? I don't know, I think he just gets really, really sleepy. And, yeah, some, some great scenes this episode between Reyna and Gordon. And, yeah, they're <clears throat> the, the last scene they have with, uh, you know, yeah, he, he talks about, you know, it wasn't easy for me either at first, but, you know, it could be, you know, it's too dangerous for you to be in public right now, but... You know, I'll I can take you to beautiful places where you're not seen by anyone. Which, you know, that is legitimately like he is trying to. You know, they are trying. 
I, I doubt he'd be doing it if he wasn't allowed to. They are really trying to make it work with with Reyna. And yeah, great you know ch choice to have Jai Ying explain over the you know basically narrate as we see you know May versus Belyakov you know and we're explained this whole thing <clears throat> and again great misdirect they really Jai Ying never actually says Belyakov the mother used the crystals on herself she said Belyakov stole the crystals so she went around the system and we assume that she was the one behind it because she was the first person we heard say I need your pain but that was because her daughter was controlling her you know so very very nicely done I wish it were that simple and yeah Katya is the daughter and we get the brief flashback she was when she was running around the market where I'm reliably told at least some of the piggies go at least one of them yeah you know she wasn't just like playing she was taking control of them when she was touching them that's why you know it looked like they were taking her hostage but they were actually like just moving her you know it was faster for them to pick her up and carry her away than for her to walk with them because you know her legs aren't as as long as as theirs are she can't move quite as fast and yeah you know may shoots katja there really was no other way and I think it might also be a censorship thing, but I do appreciate that they didn't ask us to actually watch this, you know, I don't know, 10-year-old girl be shot to death. You know, that's, yeah. And, and yeah, it, it's no wonder why May changed. And we see the thing with the cavalry was pretty much a myth. You know, they, they didn't want... Yeah, you know, they, they allowed that story, Coulson and, and May, because they didn't want to, to talk about what actually happened. And, you know, yeah, that's part of why she hates, you know, whenever she hears someone refer to her as the cavalry, she thinks not about, you know, oh, that was so badass, you know, which is what everybody else thinks. She thinks, I had to kill a child, you know. And, you know, it, it was Katja was the one who killed a lot of the people that May ends up getting credit for having killed. And, yeah, so Jai Ying talks about, you know, if Sky can have just one dinner with her father, you know, and then she's taking him away. And, yeah, the, the, um, Lincoln realizes it's not a dream. What Raina described as dreaming was a vision of the future. And that's, of course, very interesting. That really puts, you know, she thinks of herself as physically a monster. And she has done monstrous things as well though it's you know it's understandable but yeah the idea that she could see the future you know that might make her a bit more you know yeah that might change how she feels about it which is also great you know it seemed like lincoln he's he's kind of just butting into other people's business in this episode like you know, Gordon is trying to, to help Raina and Lincoln, you know, first is listening in and then starts, you know, yeah, butting in to, to, you know. And then here at the end, he's watching this private family dinner. <laughs> he wasn't this much of a creep in the first episode. He, he lied, but he wasn't this much of a 
creep. Anyway, but yeah, that's of course part of why, you know, and, and I do acknowledge he is trying to help Reyna, at least. And yeah, we see Fitz manage to open the toolbox and asks, you know, can I still come hang with you? Maybe you could show me how to shake a tail. Feather? And Lance has an idea involving the electric hand dryer in the the bathroom. And we get the, the joke of, you know, a, an important character doing something important in a bathroom, and someone else is like, dude, get out of there. Some, you know, some of us have to actually use the bathroom, you know. Yeah, really great episode, and let's see... Yes, so uh, some IMDb trivia for this episode. In the first flashback, which takes place around 2008, Agent May mentions that S.H.I.E.L.D. is putting every dime into the construction of the Triskelion, seen in Captain America the Winter Soldier. Or at the beginning of Ant-Man 2015, the Triskelion was already under construction. That sequence took place in 1989. She was probably referring to the addition of the underground hangars and the three helicarriers for Project Insight, also seen in the Winter Soldier. I agree. And let's see the the um, yeah. So so maybe maybe the first Iron Man movie is set in in 2008, and it just took four years before the recruitment. I mean, maybe if Thor is set in... No, wait, yeah, because Thor... Let's see. Iron Man 2... Yeah, I, yeah. Iron Man 2, The Incredible Hulk, and Thor are, like, set at around the same... They, they take place around the same time. Which is, of course, how they explain, you know, why doesn't, you know, why isn't Iron Man in the first Thor movie? He was busy doing stuff in his own solo movie. That was back when they tried, when they were making an attempt to make it, you know, to explain why they weren't showing up in each other's movies. You know, the reason Iron Man doesn't show up in Thor 1 or The Incredible Hulk is that he was busy in in the with his second solo movie anyway um right so yes yeah, sky is revealed to be 26 years old the episode is set in 2014 or early 2015 likely early 2015 given the air date chloe bennett was four days shy of 23 when the episode premiered uh, this episode reveals that Reyna has precognitive clairvoyant dreams. This is fitting since she spent most of the most of season one hoping to meet the clairvoyant so she could find out what she would become after Terry Genesis. So yeah. Huh. Yeah, Colson is technically not in this episode until the very last scene. The rest of his appearances are only in flashbacks. And The only memorable quote that someone added for this episode was Ava saying, I've had their pain, now give me yours, and May saying, come on, I've got plenty to share. Which is a legitimately cool, you know, one-liner. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. Um, I am probably going to try to see if I can do an episode tomorrow. We will. We shall see. And if not, then definitely Thursday. I will, I will definitely have time then. And, yeah. I think from now on, I'm just, just to be safe, if I'm, like, eating or, or, like, Someone is comforting me about Terragenesis. I'm going to take a peek around the room just to make sure that Lincoln isn't creepily standing around listening. <laughs>